Please contact your bank and also get in touch with the police. All the details on what to do can be found on the Scan Watch website. TV host Kat Dilly talks 15 seasons of So You Think You Can Dance. All right, guys, today is a different video. Stay tuned, you'll want to watch the whole thing. So, let's go. Let's start the intro. Let's go. What's good to know in your family? So I'm driving and uh, uh, my cameraman's at school, but what? Mm, it's the lighting, mate. Where's the lighting? There's the bloody map again, guys. I changed my hat to a beanie. It's a bit cold today, but what's good to know in your family? Welcome back to another vlog, man. If it's your first time here, thank you very much for watching. Uh, we are lifestyle channel here. This is our vlogging channel. So we do a lot of vlogs here, uh, but we also share with you what we do on a weekly basis, on a daily basis, on a monthly basis, on any time. We also have businesses. So don't forget to uh, go and subscribe to our eating channel if you love food, mate. Uh, but also subscribe to um, our business channel as well, or in the uh, link below. But Thank you for uh, stopping by to the OGs. Thank you very much for always watching up. Guys, as you saw in the title, I was taken to hospital. Yes, I was taken to hospital twice. Yes, I'm all right now because you can see I'm here filming with you guys. But uh, this is all part of the journey. I'm going to do a sit down uh, later on with you guys in this vlog uh, why I was uh, admitted to hospital. I'm on my way to have a meeting regarding my health. So, uh, yeah, big subject. Big, massive subject that I thought I'll share with you guys and uh, share some light on it as well. So, let's go. Let's go and uh, see where we're going. So we're gonna go see Andrew. Andrew's gonna help me with some things. Hey, this is where we are. Andrew's right there. How do we fix you? What do you need? Um, <laughs> what's the pain point? What do you, what do you want to get back from taking time? That's probably the easiest way to put it. I want to live. I don't know if it's gonna. Uh, this is probably too deep. Mm -hmm. no, I want right. to live longer for my kids. Yeah. You know, I'm just seeing my mum who's <coughs> to this who's on insulin at the moment mm -hmm. um, and is relying on it. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's 20 years from now from where I am. Yep. And it freaks me out at this, yep. at this point. Why does it freak you out? Because <sighs> she can't do nothing. Yep. We can't take her out. Yep. Um, when I'm in Sydney, she lives in Sydney. Yep. Uh, so when we're there every year, we're there for a month. Yep. We can't fucking take her anywhere. Okay. You know, like, mum, let's go here, let's go. Here. I can't. We're just Mm -hmm. The reason he came and joined and actually had that first initial conversation, mm -hmm. right, he don't want the ads, right, was because he had that pain point of he got to the other side of the lights because he had to dash, dash across really quick before the traffic went, yeah. and he was completely exhausted after jogging, literally, and it would have been an old man shuffle, not, not a yeah. full run or anything, but like, you know, these sorts of little things, mm -hmm. people start to go, oh crap, like, something's not right, yeah. this shouldn't be the way, you know, I've... I often refer to um, a case I had when I was working at Plus, 24 hour gym. You know, we had a 35 year old male came in. Mm -hmm. He was living in a nursing home. All right. 35, right? Now, this wasn't because, you know, he was a horrible person or he lived on the streets or anything like that. Like, 
it just stopped. He'd had a workplace related injury. injury. Um, he'd gone through rehab and all that sort of stuff. It fixed all of that. Yeah, so yeah. He, he had a clean bill of health, so to speak. So he was able to train, able to eat well. You know, it's not like they'd sewn his you know, mouth shut or anything like that. It was purely the fact that he had just stopped. He had no drive, he had no idea, like, what are they now? Right? He had this massive pain point of like, well, he'd been in and out of hospital for nearly two years at that stage. And they put him into a nursing home because his family didn't want to help him. Yeah, and, and again, six months later, He's got a job, he's running 5K, no worries. He's lifting weights every week. Like, but he had confidence. But from that confidence, he was then able to be consistent. If I'm doing that and I'm a coach, I can only just imagine what it's like for clients when they're like, oh fuck, I can't get my food right. Yeah, and that's why we start with the basics. So food-wise for you, like what we've done with these guys, is just get you writing everything down for two weeks. Cool. Because that way, us as your coach, we can then see, well, okay, you eat a Mars bar every morning at 10, 10 a.m., why is that like what's leading to that okay because again we don't we don't want to demonize foods and go well that's good versus bad because again if we tell you that all those foods are bad you're like oh well, well carbs are bad oh but fats are bad oh but then my mate told me that i should go vegan and then oh but he's doing keto but he's tried vegan so he reckons mix that together but then i've done all of that and not, none of it's worked so does that mean i'm broken no no doesn't mean you're broken, it means you're being pulled in so many different directions when all you need to do is learn the basics, which yeah, is yeah. train regularly and learn about nutrition. <laughs> Not learn about specific diets, just learn about basic okay. nutrition, right? Because once you've got the basics of us getting you back to a baseline, because most people come in and they're like, oh, I've been on 1200 calories. Awesome, yeah. you're 95 kilos and you're wanting to train every day and not feel tired and recover properly. 1200 is nowhere near enough, right? Me at 100 kilos, I can eat 3000 calories a day and stay the same weight. And people are like, whoa, how does that work? It's like, cool, because your body needs a certain amount. Yeah, yeah. But again, people don't know this. All they know is, oh, Kim Kardashian started a new diet, I'm gonna try that. Unless you eat. They do it for 24 hours, it's like, well, the apple diet didn't work. I had 12 apples yesterday and I was shit myself senseless, right? Like, all these sorts of things. And it's like, let's just take it back to basics. Are you getting enough protein to do muscle mass building? Are you getting adequate carbohydrates and fats of a good amount each day to work on energy sources, right? And hormone production, and hormone regulation with your fats and stuff like that. Oh, all my fats are coming from KFC. Okay, we need to work on that. Let's look at some other options. Do you like fish? Oh, fuck, I love fish. Awesome. All right, so that's a really healthy source of protein. You're getting an awesome source of healthy fats, great for the brain, all this sort of stuff. Oh, I didn't know any of that. Yeah, sweet. All right, so again, we can start to see, let's find what works for Duva, not what's worked for 20 other people that are different body shapes, they're not background islander, all this sort of stuff. Like, there's so many different facets to it. Oh, Alright guys, just join man! Don't forget, uh, go and follow the, down the bottom of the... <laughs> right. June has just started, so... Excited, excited! Big cheesy green. Fantastic. We've done it before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're ready in two seconds. <laughs> yeah. Join the team, guys! <laughs> yeah. Excited, man! What are you most excited for, Duba? I'm excited to meet everyone and um, finally get rid of this, the tablets that I'm on, which I'll explain on a podcast when I get home later on. So stay tuned for the video later on. See what's happening inside his body. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> guys, so I've joined and uh, here's the leader of our crowd. I'm going to introduce him, and if you need help, don't forget, I'll put it in the description down below. Hey guys, uh, Noxy here from TVC, and uh, massive welcome to Duva. Really excited. Had a huge energy. It's nearly as big as my energy, but we'll work on that. That's okay. Uh, I think the biggest thing that I'm excited for is for him to learn. Um, there's a lot of blankness today when I was going over a few things with him and I think that's probably the most exciting thing is passing on that knowledge of how do I get to better. Yeah. Everyone wants to be better but they're like well what steps do I need to take and it's like that's going to be the really exciting for us as coaches for him and uh, we're going to smash it. Sweet. Thanks bro. Thank you very much. All right, Hello, you. Morris. See you tomorrow night. See you tomorrow night. Thank you. Thank you. Guys I am freaking excited just to change my life and 
get off these tablets, hey? We were, we were talking hashtag fuck the tablets. I uh, mean, he's gonna get a t-shirt with um, that on there. But um, I'm just gonna go hang out with the girls now, get some support from them and the team, and hopefully, uh, yeah, it's 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 gonna be a freaking amazing journey. Thank you, guys. So, guys, look at that. It's freaking massive of clothes that needs to be done guys but the problem is I don't want to clean it up because here is our Tinani wall but anyway let's go all right Tinani family thank you for uh staying with us all the way to the end of the video now um if you came for the title well let's do a thumbnail first all right guys, excuse the mess that's in the back of me. We're being in the process of uh, really doing some really cool collabs, but the stuff in the back, we just got no room to put it. So it's gonna be part of this vlog anyway. Thank you for making it all the way to the end of this video. Now this is a serious part of, um, of this video. Just wanna sit down with you guys and let you guys uh, know what's happening, why we haven't vlogged in a long time, why we haven't posted in a long time. If you haven't followed us on Instagram, that's where we put all our live stuff, but uh, go check that out. Our IG on the bottom there. But uh, all that noise. All right, gotta explain all of this stuff here. Just wanna be uh, open with you guys as we are open uh, throughout our videos and we've let you guys into our family. I'll tell you the full story anyway. This is how it went. Uh, it was a Sunday night. Uh, just after Father's Day and I started to feel really really sick. I couldn't breathe um, I couldn't I Couldn't move but as a male I just kept going with this pain for about two weeks So I didn't tell Miss Beast. I didn't tell my kids or anything like that. Just kept going to work doing my everyday duties work home work home with the family and then I woke up and it felt like somebody was choking me. And at that point, I had to wake up B. So I tapped her, she was next to me and I was like, babe, I can't breathe, you're gonna need to ring the ambulance. So I ended up in our local hospital here. I had chest pains. I thought I was having a heart attack. Yeah, I thought I was having a heart attack. So quickly took me in. Um, and I was quite exposed and I thought, you know what, I'm having a really severe heart attack. I started to think about my kids and my wife and stuff, and my family, my sisters, my mum, my dad, um, just everything started coming through my head and I'm thinking, God, please, not today. Don't let this happen. But mind you, it's already been two weeks that I've had this, um, this pain. Anyway, they rushed me in, um, took me straight in and started doing all these tests, chest, MRI, um, looking at my heartbeat, measuring my uh, breath intake. And then I started to come to and they gave me different tablets and stuff and uh, yeah, they said to me, you know what? You were lucky came in. They got it under control. They gave me some, um, some acid tablets. Uh, I was thinking, acid tablets? I thought it was heartburn. Well, that's what I related it to. But it was actually acid that is caused by stress, overweight, other things that I'm gonna talk about. And combined together, it uh, created a thing called silent heart attack. So I was quite happy at that point. I know, I thought, you know what, cool, I got it, sweet. I thought I was happy at that point. Uh, took a few hours, bees was relieved, the girls were relieved, everything was all good. But then I noticed the doctors were taking forever. And then they came and hooked me up to something else and they were like, I, was, I said to them, okay, so when am I, am I being released today or tomorrow? And they were like, you're actually not going nowhere. We've controlled and we found out why your breathing was, um, well, why it felt like you were having a heart attack and we've controlled that breathing part. But you've also got diabetes and high blood pressure. Diabetes and high blood pressure. You know, and I was thinking to myself, man, 
what the hell is going on with me? They finally got my uh, blood pressure right, but then they also got diabetes um, to control. So you know, the levels of trying to get it right, if you know, is really hard. Having one is okay, but having both together is really, really, really hard. And I'm just here to share my story and awareness to everyone out there that's going through this. You're not the only one. And they've given me this. I'm also on this. That one there. That one there for my acid. And that one there. So I'm on about seven tablets a day. And I've decided to help with my fitness. I would join the gym. So it has that balance. And um, controls it better. But if you are going through difficulties in our culture. If you are going through diabetes and high blood pressure. It's through intake of food and the combination of stress and everything else. I thought I was okay. I thought I was all good. But then I was admitted into hospital twice. I went to work and yeah, Beast had to rush me into the hospital again because I couldn't breathe again. This was, oh, i say seven days later. And I was like, no way, no way. What am I gonna do? I was freaking out, man. You know, you start to think of your children, as I said, and your wife and your loved ones. And we've just got to take control of our lives. Control what the intake of food that we take in, but also remind ourselves that life's too short. I don't want to be living on tablets for the rest of my life. So I've decided to jump on the vegan um, road and it feels good and then we joined the gym as you saw and it's affected the whole family in a good way we're all going to the gym now every morning we're six o'clock we're down at the gym for an hour and uh we just want to thank everybody for supporting our family for messaging and seeing how i am on instagram we thank you guys uh, but i just want to share awareness that life's too short, man. I'm in my 40s and we just gotta look after ourselves, make sure that we're around long enough uh, for our kids and our grandkids and the kids' kids. But I hope my story out there has shown you some love and that we're here. We're here as a Polynesian family to, uh, to hear you out as well. So comment down below or DM us on Instagram. We're here to hold your space. And let's do this together. Thank you for watching tonight, your fans.